Hi, I'm Mike Wong. And I'm John Kimball. And we are back in one of the Rock West workshop labs here. John Kimball, the man with all the answers, is here today because I have a lot of questions about plates and panels. Break it down for us. Okay, yeah. so the difference is a panel is anything that has a core in the middle of it. We've got a skin of carbon on one side, a, a skin of carbon on the other, and a honeycomb core in the middle. A plate is any panel that doesn't have a core. It can be any thickness. That is one thing. This is a plate. Yeah. We can also make panels with carbon fiber or fiberglass? Correct. If you look at this panel here, okay. that's a fiberglass skin with a honeycomb core. This is a Nomex core. There can also be aluminum core. And we also have foam core. One other question I had too, I noticed that you can take a plate, plate. right? <laughs> you can water jet. Yes. So you can actually get very precise shapes. Correct. Can you do that with a panel? You can. Uh, depending on how thick it is, you get different results for how the water cuts through the honeycomb, but you still can do it. You can also CNC machine. Can you let us know the difference about uh, strength to weight? Sure. With a panel versus a plate? So you're holding that, pa that panel. Yeah. This plate is approximately the same weight, but there are obvious benefits to both of them. If we take this plate, you can see that this has some resonance to it. If we do the same thing to this panel, we get almost zero deflection and we also reduce the resonance of vibration. This can hold significant amounts of weight, but not astronomical amounts of weight. So it's really good for low weight concentrations. A thicker plate, for instance, this plate, uh -huh. this is the same size as this plate. It's the same thickness. This can hold a lot more weight than the cord panel can. It provides really good stiffness right. with no resonance, but it weighs four times as much. Gotcha. A thin panel yes. versus a thick panel, Okay. right? They both weigh the same. What's the advantage here? A, a thicker panel uh -huh. with a thicker core will make a stiffer panel. Okay. With very minimal increase in weight. I notice on some of these plates, we have a lot of different patterns going on here. Yes. Besides the uh, aesthetic properties, look mm -hmm. pretty cool. What's, uh, can you explain what we sure. have working? Fiber orientation increases stiffness in the direction that you want to, uh -huh. right? We also have some checkerboard design. I like this checkerboard design. Which, yeah, it's nice. looks really nice. This is just plain weave. This is a checkerboard. We have okay. we have larger checkerboard, but this is a medium sized checkerboard. These two are, are have the same amount of fiber in them. Uh -huh. They weigh the same, but this one has a little bit better properties because we don't crimp the fibers as much when it goes up and down. Crimping the fibers will change the properties of the material in a very slight way, but you do get benefits from that. I also noticed you have some other colors as well. Is that a different fabric? It is. So this fabric is a hybrid fabric. Okay. Half of the fibers are carbon fiber. Half of the fibers are dyed Kevlar. Kevlar is more flexible than, than carbon fiber, so you're not gonna get the same stiffness out of this panel that, uh, plate that you would out of a solid carbon fiber, but it does have some aesthetic value. Here's a red dyed one. We also have what we call chipboard. This is just random oriented fiber and it's pressed into a press and uh, it creates a really unique pattern on it. There isn't any benefits to stiffness in any direction. So a lot of people use this for things that are machined and, and they want to look really pretty. These come in all shapes and sizes? Yeah, at Rockwest they come in a couple of shapes. Square, rectangular. We can machine if if uh, if the customer needs it, um, but we don't do it internally. We have to do it out uh, at a local machine shop. But you also have big sheets. We do four by eight. We have up to down. we have up to ten feet by four feet wide. Okay. And uh, but typically they're four by eight sheets. All right. Well, John, thanks for your time again. Yeah, no problem. Um, if and if you have any questions, please feel free to email John or me, and uh, we'll see you next time.